a better community where people share and live among one another in peace and respect. To increase the number of our peers as leaders to take part in making our community a better place. To continue to educate our people on issues that are present in our community. And this is our dream. To have a resilient generation that is able to rise above the challenges and hardships of life. To become productive members of our community and have the abilities to discuss issues that will contribute to the improvement and change of our society. So how do we achieve such a generation? A resilient generation? First, we must embrace and teach our Fasa more because it's our identity. We have to model good behaviors of service because Samoan leadership is the result of serving our families. Our Fasa is a living culture. We live and practice our customs on a daily basis. We must understand that our culture plays an important role in becoming who we are. Secondly, we must educate our youth on economic and social issues that our island territory is faced with. Issues such as unemployment, teen pregnancy, drugs and alcohol, bullying, and suicide. These issues influence our families and they lead to more issues and other risky behaviors. It is important for our youth to understand the reasons and how these issues impact our people. Thirdly, we must educate our youth on the influence of the media, that we can use media as a way to gain positive and productive outcomes, like researching and connecting with friends and family. And that is not for other means that are harmful, such as cyberbullying and fall music. And we don't have to copy negative behaviors that we see and hear on the media. And how are we preparing our Tayala peer leaders to facilitate the effort in bringing about a resilient generation? This year, we spent a great deal of time in researching on what are some of the causes as well as possible solutions as of how to deal with various issues that our island youth are challenged with. We have invested in life skills and leadership trainings. We partnered with Honolulu Theater for Youth who taught us on how to use our drama-based strategies to develop short plays to address issues that we are faced with. We perform these plays and use them to initiate discussion and form discussion groups that allow Ta'iyala peer leaders to share and talk about these issues from their own perspective in relation to their family, friends, and community. We've been able to gain more knowledge of our own cultural protocols and traditions from one of our partners, the Samoan Studies Institute at the American Samoa Community College, and to see the impact of these issues on our society from a cultural perspective. We conducted community service projects, and one in particular that's worth mentioning was the beautification project at Tafuna High School. Few leaders from different high schools joined efforts with high school students from Watonka Community School and a professional artist from the Dallas, Oregon, to install and prepare this mural. We learned a great deal from this project, the different artistic styles and designs. Also, it was amazing to see students from different high schools 
putting their differences aside and work together towards a common goal. So, yes, we do want to do more of these community projects. Wow, that's an awesome plan. It truly is. Our hopes reflect our dreams, and our Tayala peer leaders reflect our future youth. Getting to know our hopes and dreams builds confidence and inspires us to touch, touch the, the future, future today. today. And it begins. And it begins. And it begins. And it begins. And it begins with us. Oh